Mikey, and congratulations. So you have three titles in three different weight classes now. When I was at your camp the other day, Robert was telling me that you might be able to go as high as 147, and maybe win at 140, 147. Can you talk about that, you know, how high you want to go in the weight classes? Right now, my, my main focus is uh, 135 pounds. I feel very comfortable here at the lightweight division. I feel fast, I feel strong, I feel, you know, more comfortable than ever. Um, but uh, we do have, you know, plans to, in the future, move up to 140 pounds. Uh, that might be later this year, it might be next year. Um, had, I, had I not stopped fighting, I would have already been at 135 and maybe thinking 140 right around now. So 140 is very likely that we'll jump up uh, soon. But uh, 147 might take another year or two before we can actually consider that. If the right opportunity is there and then the right fight and it makes sense for me and I feel comfortable with 147, you know, we'll consider that when that time is right. But right now it's 135 with uh, pretty, uh, pretty close at 140. Hi, Mikey. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Um, how comfortable were you in there? I mean, right at the beginning, before the, the fight began, you know, you look like you were waving to some of us at the media section. Uh, talk about that. You know, I, I'm just, it's not nothing new to me, kind of. It just seems kind of natural to me to just be up there and do what I got to do. It, I don't feel pressure, you know, fighting on a big stage or because of the fans or, I just don't feel that, really. I, I'm, I'm comfortable in there. I mean, I enjoy that. I love that. And, so I'm looking around for people, recognizing people, you know, looking at the media, looking at my family, some friends, you know, just to see where they're at, you know, and kind of just uh, take it all in. But uh, I just feel very comfortable in there. Once the bell rings, of course, it's time to get to work. You know, we dictate the pace, dictate the, the, the fight, but uh, I'm always aware of the, of the surroundings. Mikey, congratulations, that was amazing. Thank you. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the strategy. Um, how important was establishing a jab in the first round for you? Well, the uh, strategy was, you know, to uh, fight at, at a right distance off the jab. Um, we know we've seen him; he's very dangerous with his overhand left, and um, it seemed like that's kind of what he was waiting for and kind of setting up. I didn't allow him to set up. I kept that jab right in his face. Uh, I kept circling to my left to avoid his left. Um, you know, I feel very comfortable using my left hand. Very comfortable against the southpaw. Traditionally, a lot of a lot of trainers and, and you know spectators would assume against the southpaw you got to go forward. You got to put pressure, push him, push him to the ropes. He's no longer a southpaw at the ropes. When he has his back to the ropes, he's no longer a southpaw. Use the right hand. It's down the middle. Yeah, but I feel comfortable with moving to my left and circling and using my left hand more. That will set up the right hand. That sets everything up for me. You know, I can hold him. I can push him with my left. I can measure him with my left. You know, I can start, you know, hurting him with the left. And that's exactly what it did. And when a moment came, you know, to land that right hand, it just, it was perfect. Mikey, you mentioned, obviously, staying at 135 and trying to unify divisions. Considering the fight didn't go very long, how soon do you think you'd be back in the ring? And what names out there interest you the most? Well, I'm, I'm comfortable, you know, getting in the ring soon. I mean, give me, you know, another two or three months and I could be back. I'm not injured. You know, I'm not hurt. I didn't get cut at all, so you know I could be back very, very soon. Um, regarding names, you know I'm, I'm willing to fight anybody right now at 135. Um, I would love the opportunity, like I said, to unify titles. But I know the champions also have their schedules, their agendas, and some already have fights lined up for the next few months. So we'll probably have to wait later, you know, maybe a few more months, six, nine months before we can actually unify. But in the meantime, I don't want to be waiting. I want to be active. So if I can get back in the ring soon. You know, I, I really, really appreciate that opportunity to get back and show everybody what I can do. Mikey, back here in the back. Yes. Um, so right now you're not signed by any uh, promotional companies. Would you take on Lomachenko at 35 and fight a top-ranked fighter? If uh, Lomachenko moves out to 135 and Bob Arum and their company decides to reach out to me, I would definitely be willing to sit down and take on him. Um, I haven't heard anything from, from their side, you know, mentioning my name. I hear the media, fans mentioning that name, you know, as a possible matchup, but I still haven't heard anything from, from the promoter or management or anything like that. Mikey, 
You said uh, winning the championship of the world was different this time. It really you felt it this time. Why is that? Is it because it was the WBC belt in comparison to the WO or the, the layoff made you grateful? What is it? I don't know if it's just one thing. I, I think it's a combination of things. Uh, one, you know, my dad, my brother had always wanted to have that WBC at home. Um, being involved, you know, in boxing, there's other titles, but for some reason WBC always holds a special place in everyone's, you know, uh, list, and now I get to do that for them. Um, the layoff also, that, you know, layoff also kind of like sparked that fire and that passion for the sport again. Um, seeing all the fans out there supporting me, you know, no one forgot about me during the two and a half years that I was gone, and it showed tonight. You know, it showed in my return fight in July, and it showed again today. Um, you know, and uh, I think it's a combination of everything. You know, all these things put together just fill me up with more joy and more excitement than ever before. This time, I won the title, and I feel like it was maybe like my first time winning the title. I, I really feel happy inside, unlike the first and second time that I won them. Like I said, those times it was like no, not a big deal to me. It was just like whatever. But this time, I'm very, very happy.